Alrighty YouTube, I promised a second Tech Talk Tuesday showing off my Nook HD Plus actually running CyanogenMod, so here we go. Alright guys, in the last video I showed you me installing CyanogenMod on my Nook HD Plus, um, but I didn't have enough battery life to actually show you um, what it was like when I got everything installed and everything was running. So people have asked and I'm here to deliver. So here is my Nook HD Plus. It is running CyanogenMod. Um, and let me go ahead and get a better angle and show you off some of the stuff. Alrighty guys, so here is my Nook HD. And let me go ahead and turn it on. Uh, we can see here in the lock screen, just like normal Android, you can put widgets, um, different widgets in here. I right now have the beautiful widgets running, which shows me the weather. And let me go ahead and unlock it. Um, so here is your basic Android home screen. This is, of course, Android 4.2.2 running CyanogenMod 10.1. So let's go ahead and show you that. See if we can zoom in to Android version 4.2.2, um, CyanogenMod version. This is an unofficial version because there's not a technical official version. So this is the um, the July 12th nightly, which is um, off of 10.1.2. Um, for those that don't know, 10.1.2 is where they did some security updates to fix some of the problems that people were talking about, about the APK exploit. So, navigation. There are the three soft buttons that would come in a normal Nexus type device. It doesn't have any capacitive buttons. So you have home, you have the button that shows you different things that are running, Oops. and you have the back button. Um, also, the Nook button also works as a home button. And we have our dock set up down here. Um, I have a bunch of different groups with my icons. Um, just because the way I like to organize things. Um, widgets, of course. I've got beautiful widgets running on here, showing me the weather, calendar. I am not running the stock launcher. I'm actually running Nova Launcher uh, because I like it a little bit better because we can do just a few more tweaks. Um, one of them being the infinite scroll where I can keep scrolling around and end up back where I started, um, which is one of the things that I like, which is the main reason why I use Nova Launcher, actually. Um, but everything here works and just like it should work, we have, um, like I can go to YouTube, and YouTube videos work perfectly on here. Um, see, I've got Joe's Daily <laughs> up and running on here. Uh, so we can play a video. Hold on a second, it's going to play an ad, I think. Um, but if we turn it, um, then we can see this is something you get on the bigger tablets. It doesn't happen on the Nexus 7, but on the bigger tablets, it still stays a little bit right there. Um, turn the volume down. Um, but if you want to, hold on, let me skip the ad first. Okay, so if you click on the little button here, then you actually have it on full, full screen, which is pretty cool. And you can bring it back down to shrink it a bit. Um, comments here on the side. So the YouTube app is pretty darn cool for working on a uh, larger tablet. Um, again, see, I have landscape mode, I can flip it, and it flips back to this. The only app that doesn't work properly on this is the Nook app, which is, you know, something you might want to do if you own a Nook. Um, for some reason, the Android market doesn't recognize the um, this tablet as being allowed to run the Nook app. So, but it's easy enough to get an APK from the internet and just sideload it. So that is what I did and that's what everyone else does is you just sideload it. But other than that, every single app that I've tried works flawlessly. Um, and it's really, really nice. Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Um, it does have a camera app, although there is no camera. Um, but that's just part of CyanogenMod. Um, but you know, like I have my Instagram on here. So I can see all of my feeds and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Um, and things work pretty good. 
Um, things work very pretty smoothly. Not necessarily 100% perfect, but then again, you know, this is kind of a unofficial version of Cyanogen Mob, but I haven't had problems with crashing. Um, it seems pretty darn stable. Chrome seems to work pretty darn good. Let me go ahead and go to, I don't know, the Galaxy S3 forums on Roots Wiki. Um, web pages come up fast. Scrolling seems to work pretty good. So yeah, that is CyanogenMod Mod running on my Nook HD+. And seriously, if you're willing to go through the effort, I would totally recommend getting one of these because they're so cheap and you get a nice big screen and you have a full-fledged tablet um, if you hack it to run stock Android and uh, Cyanogen Mod. So I'm, I give it a thumbs up, definitely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put links in the doobly-doo down below of the thread that I use to figure out how to do all this stuff. Um, and like I showed you in the video, it's really easy. Once you get the image on the SD card, just shove it in there and, you know, start installing stuff. Alrighty, guys, I hope you liked this review of the Nook running Cyanogen Mod. And until next Tech Talk Tuesday, I haven't figured out the topic yet, so if you have topics you're interested in, I can't say that I can do every topic because I only own so many gadgets. Um, but I will definitely talk about things if you want me to. To all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, remember to click that little subscribe button, and then you'll get all my videos Monday through Friday. Till next time, YouTube. Love and bubbles.